who's in the mood for some music right now? You guys want to hear some music? Yeah. You hear some music? So we're the Josh and Gab Show. We're a rock and roll comedy duo with a focus on an anti-bully message. I see him in the hallway. I see him at his stairs. He points at me and giggles when he passes on the stairs. And now I'm here at Kennywood and feeling really scared. Cause it's the first time I've been involved in any kind of performing or entertaining where I don't have to solicit, I don't have to like draw hints like, what'd you think? Did you like that? Um, it's, the, the kids react like Beatlemania. And it was like deafening. It was like they were screaming, Josh and Gab, Josh and Gab. Like we couldn't even get people to quiet down to do the song. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. We've had like te like testimonials like oh. I used to be mean, I used to pick on people, I really don't anymore, and here's why. I mean, oh, with a, in the middle of a show, a kid raised his hand and was like, bully "I'm the bully you you've been talking about in the show," and I just want to say to everybody, I'm really sorry. I mean, it was like emotional, and then we don't where, know what to do. Where was your camera like, that day? Testify, <laughs> yeah, we started like, reacting like, yeah. We went, we went nuts. I went to see him a show at Pitt, and I saw his band, and I thought it was the best band I'd ever seen. Mm. And, uh, and then I was like, I need to know this guy. And so we always were pals. And then we started doing um, shows together. And then that led into doing like adult funny parody videos together. Right. We were annoyed by, um, what's her name? I forget Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. Doing a, uh, a holiday song. Um, that went with, viral. Yeah. Like in a second. Because she's famous. So of course it would go viral. Yeah. So we were annoyed. So we made our own President's Day song, yeah. which was the Abraham Lincoln song. And this is the story of a man named Honest Dave. We did Beaver early right. on. Right, yeah, Beaver. because we knew we needed to have some kind of like pop parody. parody. Yeah. yeah. The idea originally was to do like a topical pop parody, maybe like every month have a new right, one. Right, right. But then the Bieber thing just worked so well because we were able to play off the crowd with it and make people really angry, be antagonist. You know, we're going to do a Bieber song and everybody flips out. And then they end up loving it because Gab raps so well on it. Better than Bieber himself. If such a thing's possible. I don't, I don't know if that's possible, Josh. Not possible. Justin Bieber is the best rapper that ever lived. But I think a lot of me being subversive in the early part of my career was a direct result of having been bullied as a kid, having been bullied as a young adult, and having this pent up anger. And unlike someone like Eminem, I can't get on a, a track and start rapping. So I'd get on stage and be like, right. and then this happened. You know, so there was like a lot of anger and vol volatile behavior. But I think uh, it does all tie together in what yeah. we're doing now. And now I finally have a way to maybe help other people who went through what I did and might not have to go through the saying the F bomb route for 20 <laughs> minutes on stage. We are overjoyed to be working with some of the greatest administrators, staff, students, and parents yes. on the planet Earth. Not a